I have had this uh, Bosch BBD 40 bench drill machine for a few years now and I'm quite happy with it except for a few things. The main problem is for me the chuck which is uh, of a very low quality. I like this machine because it's very user friendly. It has two gears, uh, one for lower speed and one for higher speed. And uh, the actual speed is then changed with the knob in the front. Some people hate this wheel. I don't care. It's not the highest on my list of priorities to modify it. The chuck is a completely different thing. It is much more important to me that it is as I want it to be. The original chuck is really low quality. Uh, it's Rome's cheapest, the Supra SKE type, uh, which is uh, for uh, impact drill, hand drill machines and not for bench drill machines. I will show the run out of this chuck, uh, but that's just one uh, reason why it is really uh, low quality. I am using a 5mm high quality drill and the machine is rotating at 200 rpm. As you can see the needle is uh, flexing between uh, minus 1 and plus 22-23 so it is at least 0.23mm run out in this case. And that is of course too much for a machine which is mainly used for metal works. Changing the chuck is pretty easy. All you need is a 16mm wrench and a large allen key. The wrench is used for uh, locking the motor axis to prevent it from rotating when you need to apply uh, the rotational force to remove the chuck. And of course the allen key is used for uh, enabling you to apply enough force to rotate the chuck so you can remove it. If the allen key is not enough and you need to, to apply more force than you can use an extension pipe like I had to do it when I did this removal uh, for the first time uh, because the, the chuck was, uh, I don't know, it was glued or, or something like that, but it was very difficult to remove it. So I had to use this piece of pipe and with that it was okay. But whatever you do, don't use a hammer. Don't hammer on the allen key because that might damage the motor axis. So don't do it. Of course now it's very easy to unscrew the chuck. Uh, but when I did this for the first time, it released with a large bang, like an explosion or something like that. I never liked this uh, three ring solution with the locking ring in the middle because it was quite uh, fiddly to to lock the drills. Uh, so it will be very nice to, to skip that part also. This is a bench drill rotating only in one direction and not an impact drill. So the locking ring is really not necessary. The new chuck is also from Rome, uh, but it's the Supra S, 1 to 13 millimeter, uh, and it has much better data according to the specifications. And of course, it doesn't have the locking ring, which is also a plus.
as you can see this one is actually intended for bench drill machines as well as hand drill machines and my opinion is that Bosch should have uh, installed this chuck on the machine when they started to manufacturing this otherwise very nice uh, bench drill machine the parameters of the new chuck is much better than the old one it takes drills from one millimeter as opposed to 1.5 which already is a quality indicator as well as the run out is, is much less on this one the old one on the left of course and the new one on the right I am using a very small allen key this time because there is no need for any extra force to tighten it. The chuck will self tighten itself uh, once the, the drilling machine is used. So there is no need for any extra power. It feels much better than the old one but of course I want to measure it also so I can really see if there is a measurable difference same drill and the same speed of course Wow, yes, there is a huge difference. I can see it on the chuck. There is no bubbling or anything visible and measurable. It's, uh, it's about one third of, of what I have measured before with the original chuck. So once again, the new one is a Rome Supra S 1 to 13 millimeter and you can read the part number yourself if you are interested in this one and probably I will keep the old chuck maybe replace the chuck on my hand drill which is an impact drill so of course uh, it's more suitable for, for that one than it is for a bench drill. That's it, thank you for watching and I hope you find some information in this video which you can use in case you have this bench drill machine and you intend to replace the chuck just like I did.